Here's a check on stories we're following for you on Robin Hood Radio. As we first reported yesterday, on Sunday on Robin Hood Radio, we learned that on June 22nd at about 7.44 in the evening, Columbia County Sheriff's patrols were dispatched by Columbia County 911 for a one-vehicle accident on State Route 22 just south of Weedmine Road in the town of Copag. Deputy sheriffs found a car operated by 26-year-old Ian Caden of Lee, Massachusetts, had struck a guardrail on the west side of the road. The vehicle then struck several feet of railing before going airborne and landing in the Rojan Creek. Caden was ejected from the vehicle. He was the sole occupant occupant in that vehicle. He was airlifted to Albany Medical Center by LifeNet 71 for back, spine, and head injuries. The accident was investigated by sheriff's deputies and investigators. Chatham Rescue Squad, Copic Fire Company, and Ankrum Fire Company all assisted at the scene of that accident. Police in Tennessee, as of last night, were still searching for a Connecticut man for questioning about an attack on a couple that left the husband dead and wife seriously injured. On Friday afternoon, Nashville police officers responded to a double stabbing. Police say Leanne Zirkel, 58, fled the couple's home, collapsing in the street with significant stab wounds, including one to her neck. Inside the house, officers found her husband, Donald, critically wounded. He was transported to Vanderbilt University Medical Center, where he died from his injuries. Police report that Lee Ann was able to communicate with detectives telling them the couple was sitting on their back porch when a stranger described as a white man in his 20s or 30s with long blonde hair and a dirty yellow shirt approached them and asked them for directions. He then attacked the couple with a sharp instrument. Lee Ann was able to make it to the house and ran out the front door to the street. The killer is thought to have been fleeing in their Toyota Camry. A silver Subaru sedan with Connecticut license plates was found parked in the street at the side of the house with its rear doors open. The car is registered to Peter Alexander Boning, 34 of Kent. Boning's family in Connecticut telling authorities that they have not heard from him in several days, and police say his whereabouts were unknown, adding he may be in the victim's gray 2010 Toyota Camry bearing Tennessee license plate number NP5-937. Nashville police are urging anybody seeing him or the Camry to immediately contact them at 615-862-8600 or their local law enforcement agency. Well, Woodstock 50 has formally applied for another new site. Though the scope of its proposed anniversary festival is smaller than previously planned, Town of Vernon supervisor told the Poughkeepsie Journal Woodstock 50 organizers have applied for a permit to hold the concert August 16th, 17th, and 18th at Vernon Downs, which operates a racino hotel and harness horse racing track in Oneida County. However, the proposed capacity of the event has shrunk to 45,000 to 50,000 people. A third of the organizer's original target capacity of 150,000, Woodstock 50, set to mark the 50th anniversary of the 1969 Woodstock Music and Art Fair, has a list of more than 75 musical acts that are already scheduled. Salisbury Board of Education has their meeting coming up tonight. That'll be at 5.30, and that will be at the Elementary School Library, the town of Sharon. The Historic District Committee has a meeting coming up tonight at 6 o'clock at Town Hall. Meanwhile, the Salisbury Planning and Zoning Commission meeting is tonight at 6.30 at Town Hall. In Kent, Inland Wetlands Commission has their regular meeting at 7 o'clock, and the Kent Volunteer Fire Department has their a meeting, a committee meeting at 7.30 uh, tonight. Coming up tomorrow, the Stop, Bleed, and Save a Life Fairview Hospital at Lewis Avenue in Great Barrington. Classes on the ground floor conference room. The campaign educates participants on the basics of assisting those with severe bleeding, calling for help, and controlling excessive blood loss. The class will be held coming up on Tuesday between 7 and 8 p.m., More information, 413-854-9656. North Canaan Congregational Church hosting a free community spaghetti dinner at the Bitterman Center on Wednesday, 4.30 till 6. You're invited to enjoy the camaraderie and a delicious dinner of salad, spaghetti, and dessert. Region 1 Board of Education special meeting on Wednesday at the Central Office Conference Room, an executive session for the purpose of discussion and evaluation of the administrative contract for the superintendent with action anticipated. You can join the Office of Health Strategy coming up on Thursday at a community forum hosted by Save Sharon Hospital. 
OHS community outreach staff will discuss the agency's mission and statewide health strategy body, explain the certificate of need regulatory process and the state's online information portal, and answer questions related to the recent Sharon Hospital acquisition. This is a great opportunity for community members throughout the tri-state region to discuss health care issues facing the state and region. It will run from 4 to 5.30 at Sharon Town Hall on Thursday. Kent Parks and Recreation Summer Concert Series opens up with Tobias and Heather on June 27th at 6 o'clock at Kent Town Hall. The concert is free of charge. In Falls Village, the Planning and Zoning Commission is set to meet on Thursday at 7 o'clock at Town Hall. Eighth Annual Sunset Music Series rolls on in Canaan at the Canaan VFW. Coming up this Thursday night will be Bahama Mamas and the Painkillers. It runs from 7 to 9, live music, food, vendors, car, and motorcycle crews. Dewey Hall on Main Street in Sheffield will present the Swedish folk quintet Jaharev on Thursday. Doors open at 7 p.m. Tickets are $20 in advance, $25 at the door. Refreshments also will be served. Details at 413-229-2357. Dewey Hall is a 501c3 not-for-profit. In Cornwall on the 28th at 4.30, there will be a discussion on Homer's Odyssey at the Cornwall Library at 7 o'clock. Water, septic info meeting at Cornwall Consolidated School. Let Them Eat Cake 2019, Friday from 5.30 till 7.30. Cocktails, live auction at 6.15 to 7.15 at the Sharon Historical Society in Sharon. Advance tickets, $45 at the door. 55 860 Ghost Lit Repertory Theater presents Tony Award winning play Peter and the Star Catcher. Performance is taking place at St. James Place in Great Barrington, June 26, 27th, and 28th at 8 p.m. Two shows at 2 and 8 p.m. on June 29th and a Sunday 1 p.m. matinee, June 30th. Tickets can be had by logging into ghostlitrep.com. On Saturday from 6.30 till 8.30 at Sharon Audubon, it's the Audubon Paint and Sip, where you can explore your creative side and paint and sip, a relaxing social evening. You'll learn to paint the center's resident red-tailed hawk on a 16 by 20 canvas as she poses live. Adults and older children are welcome. $38 per person includes all painting materials, snacks, and a donation to the Sharon Audubon Center. Participants wishing to sip must provide their own drinks, BYOB. You don't have to be an artist to join the fun. Register for more information at 413-205-8346. The Bidwell House Museum on Ott School Road in Monterey invites you to their second annual Open Mic Festival on Sunday from 12 noon to 4. Lucky Five will perform live to round out the day's events. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlake and interlakeandin.com and Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off the week at 26,719.13, the NASDAQ at 8,031.71, and the S&P 500 at 2,950.46. We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That will come your way in just a few moments. <music> 